our Friday, November the 4th, 2016 excursion up Rollins Pass Road to the old Needles Eye train tunnel at the top of the Continental Divide began at Rollinsville on Peak to Peak Highway 72. The dash cam videos you'll see here have the date and time stamp incorrect. Rollinsville is in Gilpin County, Colorado, between Netherland and Blackhawk. The town is named after John Quincy Adams Rollins, a Mormon who prohibited such things as gambling halls, dance halls, and saloons. During the Civil War in 1862, he had led a group of 39 wagons up to the Continental Divide, and they had to take the wagons apart and pack them piece by piece up the last part of the trail. He began construction of the Pass Road in 1866, finishing in 1873. A rock crushing mill was constructed in Rollinsville in 1861 to handle gold bearing ore from nearby towns. In 1868, he built a stagecoach stop for the Butterfield Stagecoach Company, crossing the Continental Divide at Boulder Pass, which later became known as Rollins Pass. Toland, originally called Mammoth Gulch, was a mining community and stagecoach station in the 1880s. In 1893, Charles Hansen Toll purchased the site for $1,000. In 1904, his widow, Catherine Wolcott Toll, renamed Mammoth Gulch as Toland after her ancestral home in Toland, England, and her deceased husband's last name. The 12,969-foot-tall Mount Toll carries the Toll family namesake. The Tolan Schoolhouse was built in 1902 in a meadow alongside South Boulder Creek. It was in use until 1959. Bluebird Houses. Beginning in the 1970s, Bob Cohen with the Denver Metro College set bluebird houses all over Gilpin County to attract them and study their behavior. On September 15, 2012, 35 participants observed 17 out of the 25 research areas and counted 42 mountain bluebirds, just a fraction of the actual number. Rollins Pass Road as a Railroad In the early 20th century, David Halliday Moffett, a Denver banker, established the Denver Northwestern and Pacific Railway. The line was known as the Moffett Road with a 4% incline grade. It was the highest non-cog railroad in America. Here is a section of the original tracks. The rails were removed in 1935 after the Moffett Tunnel was completed in 1927. We made our way up the rocky, pothole, snow-covered railroad bed at a snail's pace to Yankee Doodle Lake at 10,774 feet elevation. The lake is 14.7 miles from our starting point on Rollins Pass Road. Moffat's original plan in 1879 to 1880 was to construct a 2,000-foot tunnel through the mountain here. A second tunnel would go under the Continental Divide. Tailings from the bore would make a railroad bed across the lake, and part of the tailings extend into the lake as seen in some of the photos. But the mountain rocks were too fractured and crumbly, so the decision was made to continue on up Rollins Pass Road to a spot more suitable for crossing the Continental Divide. That spot would become known as the Needle's Eye. Jenny Lake. Jenny Lake is a short distance from Yankee Doodle Lake and 218 feet higher at 10,922 feet. Work crews built a dam at the outlet to create a bigger lake. Water from the lake was used to refill the boilers of the steam trains at the Dixie Lake siding. Workers wanted the siding to be called Dixie because the term Yankee was down below at Yankee Doodle Lake. Westbound trains would continue up for four more miles to the top of the world at the Needles Eye Tunnel located 800 feet above Jenny Lake. On November 2nd, 1905, a train was stalled here by a snowstorm. A brakeman assisted a mother giving birth to a girl, and the girl was given the name Jenny Lake Miller. Needles Eye Tunnel. 
The combination of a tunnel on the skyline at the end of a straight stretch of railroad tracks resembles a needle in its eye. The needle's eye was railroad tunnel number 32 going west from Denver. Approaching the eye from the western slope, the pass was known as Corona Pass, Spanish for crown or top of the world. Westerly winds in winter pile snow 20 to 30 feet deep, necessitating the building of extensive snow sheds over the tracks. Up to a dozen helper engines were used on both sides of the pass to push the huge 2660 Malay articulated steam engines and their loads over the pass. The 2660 meant two pairs of unpowered front wheels followed by six pairs of powered wheels with no wheels following. The wheel carriage swiveled a little between the six driving wheels to allow for tight rail turns. The first train over Rollins Pass was number 300 on June 23, 1904. The Needles Eye Tunnel was closed permanently to automobile traffic in 1990 after a rock fall injured a Denver firefighter necessitating amputation below the knee of one leg. Prehistoric hunting. Native Americans used this natural migration crossing to hunt large game, including elk and bighorn sheep. Handmade low rock walls drove animals close to these stone hunting blinds. As of 2013, at least 45 blinds and 4,288 feet of rock walls have been documented. Also located directly above the needle's eye are stone rock wind shelters. Winds blowing across the continental divide can reach hurricane force. We enjoyed eating our lunches at the wind shelters on what was a perfect weather day with mild temperature and no wind at all. Beautiful panoramic views in all directions. The Moffat Tunnel. David H. Moffat was a pioneer Denver banker, mining man, and railroad builder, one of the wealthiest men in Colorado. He wanted access to the natural resources of northwestern Colorado and a more direct link to Salt Lake City in California. This would also lower freight rates by canceling a 175-mile detour either north of Denver to the Union Pacific or south to the Rio Grande Railroad. Owners of the north and south routes fought Moffat's every effort to build his railroad going west, but the men who operated Moffat's locomotives were fiercely loyal to him. Moffat would sign a blank piece of paper and tell his engineers to write their own work contract. He said, I know that you will not cheat me, and none of them ever did. Moffat died on March 20, 1911, at 72 years old, so did not see the building of the tunnel bearing his name. Construction of the 6.2 miles long Moffat Tunnel was begun in the spring of 1922 and holed through on July 7, 1927. The first train passed through it in February 1928. Now, listen as Amtrak's California Zephyr from Chicago to California by way of Denver, heads west, approaching the Moffat Tunnel.